rush hour in different countries like you've never seen it. Hey! Move it, let's go. You're stuck in your car in what seems like an endless flow of other vehicles. You get stuck in traffic jams on your way to work or to the airport to pick up your friends. That crazy nerve-wracking time is called rush hour, and you wish you could fly away to the other side of the world to escape it. Do you want to see how the world looks during the busiest hours of the day? Some of the contrasts are truly fascinating. Beijing, China. Let's start our journey in the most populous country in the world. China, land of dragons and emperors, and the inventor of many things from paper to ice cream, is often called the factory of the world. It is rich in sights already, but in 2010 it got an extra point of interest. China National Highway 110 traffic jam on the Beijing Zhangjiaqiu Highway put any other traffic congestions we have seen to shame. It started to form in August 2010, kept thousands of vehicles for more than 60 miles stuck in traffic, and lasted for more than 10 days. It stretched from the outskirts of Beijing all the way to the border of Inner Mongolia. Locals by the highway took advantage of this situation and started selling goods like water, instant noodles, and cigarettes at inflated prices to the stranded drivers. A bottle of water, for example, could be purchased here for 15 yuan, when normally it costs 1 yuan. By late August 2010, the traffic jam mostly melted away. Dhaka, Bangladesh Land of Bengals, legends and rivers, also known as Bangladesh, welcomes you. The country's capital, Dhaka, is known as rickshaw capital of the world. The 400,000 cycle rickshaws run through the city each day. If you are a tourist, you will definitely find the rickshaws incredibly cute and want to ride in one of those. However, a nine mile ride in a rickshaw can take two to three hours and it will not be enjoyable because of the dust, exhaust fumes, extreme heat and noises. Traffic laws are not observed here, so vehicles move in some crazy dance. A local newspaper called Daily Star even published an article titled Five Things to Do While Stuck in Traffic. It suggested drivers catch up with friends, read a journal, and not get too frustrated. Venice, Italy. Our next stop needs no introduction. We all love pizza, pasta, and beautiful architecture, don't we? People whose life is so dolce have no other choice but to celebrate love in every way. Who else would invent the most romantic looking vessel in the world? The gondola is the symbol of Venice and no visit is complete without a ride. Believe it or not, gondolas can also get stuck in traffic and have their rush hour. On busy days, 1,600 vessels pass under the Rialto Bridge every 10 hours. In the last few years, there have been discussions going on as to the new traffic regulations for gondolas. One of them, not allowing for gondolas to group around in the canals, might put an end to a tradition of serenading gondolas. As sad as it sounds, traffic safety is important, even when it comes to romantic traditions. Chhattisgarh, India We are leaving sunny Italy for a land that also has more than enough sunshine, along with incredibly spicy food, bright saris, and rich history. India is the second most populous country in the world, and we are only talking about human population. In this country, everything is possible. Everything, including cattle traffic jams. In the Hindu tradition, the cow is honored and garlanded. It has a life full of respect and its own rush hour. 
unafraid of traffic, cows often cause road accidents, as speeding vehicles have to stop dead or make crazy turns to avoid hitting the holy creatures. Drivers can do nothing but wait and try to convince the cow to move along. While the mighty cow has a freedom to wander wherever she prefers, some cattle traffic jams are human-made. In some Indian cities, cattle owners take their cows to a busy street in the morning and leave them there for four to five hours so that people would feed them. You think you've seen it all? Coming up next is one of the most unusual jobs in the world inspired by traffic jams. Train attendants at work in Tokyo, Japan. Siem Reap, Cambodia. Remember we said that rush hour would find you anywhere? We meant it. Cambodia, well known for its ancient temple ruins, is no exception. Traffic was such a big issue around Siem Reap, local authorities decided to take action and try to regulate it. They issued a law banning vehicles to travel on the road in front of famous Angkor Wat Temple. Only tourists going there by foot or riding bicycles were allowed near it. Frustrated drivers and hours of waiting were not the only reason for this decision. Apparently, the vibrations caused by vehicles could harm the ancient temples. The number of cars driving around them just got too high in the past years. As a result, the 2.1 million tourists who visit the site each year, along with locals, now find themselves in a different kind of rush hour. The traffic jams here are now composed of bikes of all generations. Let's leave them as we move on to our next destination. The best is yet to come. London, Great Britain. Welcome to the land of Shakespeare, pudding, and five o'clock tea. Great Britain is home to real ladies and gentlemen. Delays on London's roads make those ladies and gentlemen endure 39 minutes of extra travel time each day, or 149 hours a year, a study has revealed. A study has found Tuesday is when morning rush hour is the worst in London, and Thursday has the most terrible evening rush hour. It makes drivers pretty nervous. Let's see if they remember their manners once it's time to get on a crowded rush hour train. London has the world's oldest underground railway. The busiest station, Waterloo, receives 100.3 million passengers per year. Other stations can also get so busy it makes you want to find the legendary Harry Potter platform nine and three quarters. Maybe it will be less crowded. Moscow, Russia. The mysterious land of eternal winter, weird food, and rarely smiling people. Do you still think bears are walking its streets? If so, we hate to break it to you, but it's not exactly the thing. Welcome to Moscow, Russia's capital with a population of over 12 million people. The traffic jams get so huge during rush hour, it seems like you could read the entire Tolstoy's War and Peace as you wait to pass by. In 2012, the Russian capital survived the longest traffic jam in its history. Snow is not an unusual reason for bad traffic in Moscow, but this time it outperformed itself. A catastrophic blizzard got people stuck in traffic for as long as three days. Things got so bad, the authorities even set up tents on the roads to provide drivers with hot drinks, blankets, and other items from winter survival kits. The traffic jam was 125 miles long, and it took the average truck at least 13.5 hours to get through it. Take it into consideration if you are planning a trip to Moscow, and maybe choose summertime for your travels. Sao Paulo, Brazil. On the other side of the world is sun and ocean-kissed, fun-loving Brazil. Life there might seem like an eternal carnival. In fact, it's not all about samba. Friday evenings are a commuter's worst nightmare in Sao Paulo. 
Traffic jams in both directions, in and out of the city, stretch for as long as 112 miles on average. On a terrible traffic day, they can extend to 183 miles. Locals say it often takes them over two hours to commute to and from work. Traffic jams, however, are not only an eternal source of frustration. For Brazilian Fabiana Crespo, for example, traffic jams gave a start to a love story. It was in the middle of rush hour traffic where she met her one and only. They were both stuck in vehicles moving, or more like standing, on parallel lanes. After flirting through the car windows, Maurizio managed to convince Fabiana to give him her phone number, and they lived happily ever after. Taxi Park in Kampala, Uganda When you think of Uganda, you probably imagine endless fabulous landscapes, wildlife, exotic traditions and bright colors. It is all out there, along with traffic jams. Kampala, Uganda's capital, experiences huge traffic problems, and things get worse when it rains. It can be explained by two reasons, awful road conditions and poor drainage systems unable to cope with pouring streams. Heavy rains turned the whole city into a total mess. The stretches of jams are not that long, but drivers still have to spend hours trying to get to places maneuvering on these terrible roads. Train ride in Bangladesh. You thought the Tokyo and London trains were overcrowded? Prepare to be amazed as we take you on a train ride in Bangladesh. Now, how do you like this? Impressive, huh? To be honest, it is not always that bad. It happens around the rush time of the year, Bishwa Ijema, annual gathering of Muslims in the outskirts of Dhaka. Translated as World Congregation, it is attended by over 5 million devotees from 150 countries who want to celebrate unity, solidarity, mutual love, and respect. Their goal is to get to the festival grounds by the river Turag. Well familiar with the problem of the rush period, the local government decided to split the festival into four phases by districts. For half of Bangladeshi participants to attend in 2016 and the remaining half in 2017. Foreigners are allowed to participate in any of the phases. Palermo, Italy This country deserves a second honorary mention in our list. We are talking about Italy and here is why. The fun-loving, somewhat crazy Italians use plenty of gestures in their lexicon and have a good lesson to teach us all. Live life to the fullest and enjoy every second of it. No rush hour or traffic jam can ruin the day for local people. They even manage to play sports in the midst of a traffic jam. Keep it up and don't let rush hour take over your mood no matter where it finds you. Don't forget to click subscribe and give thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. Join us on the bright side of life.